Today's massive fire so close, so nearby uh, to many schools. Some children had to be whisked uh, from one building to another. Others ordered to stay inside. Our Josh Brazan has been following that part of the story today. Josh. Yeah, Jeff, it's definitely a scary day for many students and parents in the Frontier School District. Uh, three elementary schools evacuated earlier today, and the Frontier Superintendent says there were no air quality issues in any of the schools, but students at Big Tree Elementary were relocated to Pinehurst. Now that location and the middle and high schools were under a shelter in place for most of the day. Two other schools were evacuated. Students at Cloverbank and Blaisdell elementaries were brought to Lakeshore schools in Angola where parents were able to pick them up during the day and it was a stressful day for many parents in the Frontier School District. Um, so now at this point in time, I'm just like, okay, I don't know where she's going. I don't know, you know, what, what time I need to go get her. I don't know anything. I don't know if she's going to be bused back home. I don't know anything. So. I think they were really on top of it, and they um, put the kids first, and they had a plan in action, and I, I felt that they did a good job with it. At the end of the day, parents say they're happy, their children are safe. For parents unable to pick up their kids, the school district brought all other students home on their normal routes after the shelter in place was lifted this afternoon in Hamburg. And Hamburg Public Schools, Jeff, are also taking this fire very seriously. Students that typically would walk home after school were put on buses this afternoon. School officials say they just didn't want to take any chances when it came to concerns with the air quality. Certainly so much involved as the community uh, officials battled this blaze throughout the afternoon. All right, thank you. Our Josh Brazan reporting tonight.